A radio-collared female wolf, which the biologists had named Timish, had been tracked around the forest and near shepherd's camps. But on some nights, to their astonishment, her signal was traced to the outskirts of Brashov city. She was heading into town. She had damaged her back leg, perhaps in a skirmish with shepherd dogs. Although the injury didn't seem to slow her amazing journey through the suburbs. It was obvious that Timish knew exactly where she was going as she made her way along the city's drainage channel, avoiding, for some reason, going underneath bridges. Night vision binoculars and the radio signal confirmed that her destination was, in fact, the city's main rubbish dump. Here was a veritable mountain of rubbish on which she could feast all night. Sometimes until well after dawn. This remarkable wolf had then to travel over 10 kilometers in broad daylight to get back to her forest base. People spotting her on their way to work would take her for just an ordinary dog with a large collar. Back in the forest, a remotely operated camera near the den revealed at least one young wolf pup. About six weeks old and still nervous of the outside world. When Timish was caught on camera returning to her den, it became clear she had more than just a single youngster. In all, ten pups piled out of the den. Little wonder, then, that Timish had gone to such unusual lengths to get food. Later in the season, her radio collar stopped signalling. It could have failed, or perhaps she had paid the penalty for being too bold near humans and had been shot. In any case, she was never spotted again. <laughs> 